welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so happy you clicked on this video to give it a watch. Today for you, I have a Dollar Tree haul. I am super excited to share. So it's mostly gonna be Halloween stuff. I know we are pushing the end of Halloween season of shopping, which is why I wanted to make sure to show you everything. Every so often, there's still new Halloween items popping into my stores, but they're also clearing it out. So it's kind of like we're right there at the end. They find like another box and they put it out. Um, I am now having a Halloween party that I was not initially planning. I also sometimes get that one track mind where I had a birthday party to do on October 1st. I was buying Halloween stuff around it, but my mind wasn't focused on some of the stuff I needed or wanted. So then I would go back and now I picked it up. So this probably should be like my last Halloween haul of like official Halloween stuff, unless I pick up some couple things here and there, um, especially because I'm having that Halloween party. But my stores are clearing up the Halloween and putting in some Christmas. So that's exciting and stressful all at the same time, guys. Um, I hope you're having a, an amazing weekend um, and everything's going very well for you. Um, I'm going to apologize now. I, I'm I don't know the right wording, but I'm a little under the weather, I guess. I'm a little less energetic, I think, than usual. I don't know. You can tell me if I am or not. But um, I still wanted to make sure to share these items with you because I did already miss one haul this week, and I don't like doing that. So um, I am dressed up like a unicorn today, but I am a party pooper unicorn. I thought it was funny, and my brain, it went together. And then I'm like, well, does it go together? But doesn't? I don't know. But I'm a party pooper unicorn. This came from Dollar Tree. It was... Um, the tag on it was actually the, like, just regular, like, is it just pretending, just pretend, like, their toy brand that they have, like, the little dress-up stuff. So, I think it's offered off and on year-round, depending on your store. It's not only a Halloween, um, costume one. So, I am a party pooper unicorn. Um, so with that, let's get started. I do have a few things that aren't, um, Halloween and some food items, too, but... Let's get started. So first of all, I picked this up and I picked this up because I have bought one once before and I can't find the thing anywhere. I could have swore I put it in with like my um, cleaning items and then I go look there and I look there a couple times and I can't find it. So I wonder if my husband scooped it up and used it for something maybe. But um, it is a shiny, shiny, shiny steel non-scratch. Um, sponge. So I just got a new refrigerator. It's new to me. It's not brand new, but it was new to me. And it's got now the stainless steel doors that you can't put magnets on. So it's like really particular. And it is getting fingerprints and stuff like crazy. Um, and so I'm going to try this in a little like test zone, make sure it doesn't scratch it up, but see if it helps make it look smooth and clean. So it is got like this kind of metal ish sponge right here, but it does say non scratch. And it says it, it is a silver plus fiber, which makes stainless steel shine again. It's one scouring sponge, ideal for stainless steel two in one. Oh, and then it says, so it has got the cellulose for cleaning delicate surfaces. So it has like the regular sponge side and the like scrubby stainless steel side. So if you ever pick one of these up, my recommendation would always be try to use it in one little area. There's Ethel. Um, just to make sure that it's not going to mess up your stuff. But I have a dishwasher and a stove and my refrigerator that just is losing its shine. So I'm going to try this out and hopefully it works. Um, my son was with me one of the days I went shopping and we found this and he had to have it. He doesn't have true AirPods. He has a knockoff version, but he's like, but no, that's going to fit. I don't think they're going to fit. If I remember, I'll keep you updated, but I don't think they're going to fit. But I was like, yeah, for $1.25, I'll let you try them out. And that way I can share it with you guys. So it's just an earphone case. It says it, says it fits AirPods Pro designed for first and second generation AirPods Pro. And I mean, it's better than like when we're at like five below and there are things that are like $5 and then they don't fit your stuff. I even bought the one that says fit iPods and my iPods got stuck in there. We had to cut the case off. So they're still not in any case. It was a cute flamingo. I pulled it here once before and it just didn't work at all. So we had to cut it off. So the lid doesn't attach, which is a little nervous, nerve wracking. Um, they put a nice little thing in there. It's kind of squishy. So it's got a little bit of give. It's got the charging port hole. But, I mean, I don't, he doesn't have real iPods, so I don't know. He has, like, iPod-style um, ear, earbuds, but 
we'll see. And then it's got the little doodad right here. So he's been itching for this since we shopped for it the other day and now I hauled it. And he wanted a pen. It is a Bic Gelosity Original Ultra Smooth Writing Long Lasting Medium Point Comfort Get Front Comfort Grip Gel Black Ink Ink Black Black Gel Ink. Um, he, to be honest, my son was with me, um, when we went shopping and he was pretty much just itching for a yes answer because he was asking for things that I was like, nope, nope, nope. He's like, can I just have a pen then? Fine. You can have a pen. And then I let him get the, the earphone case. He also got a box of tissues and a bag of peanuts for a snack, but those are gone. Um, and speaking of the snack, I have some food items that I'm going to share. And one, because I'm super thirsty, I just got in a new medication and it gives me dry mouth, which is not fun when I'm here talking. Um, but I picked up their sparkling waters. So first there's this one. It is the lemon lime flavored sparkling water with other natural flavors, no sweeteners, calorie free. Um, it's literally just carbonated water and natural flavors. And I do like sparkling water. I have not been drinking it as often. I've just been drinking regular water. And so when I saw these, I was like, you know, I'm gonna pick those up because they sound delicious and I have not had sparkling water in like a long minute. And then I picked up, I spent 10 cents guys, 10 cents on a bag because I don't know why. I think I forgot my bags at that store. Um, I got the mandarin orange one as well and that's what I want to taste is the mandarin orange so thrifty tiffany um always gets these um and I was trying to do the math in my head so you'd have to buy three of them for a 12 pack right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve which would then equal three dollars and seventy five cents so that's probably a better price I guess I haven't priced a 12 pack I guess if you're getting LaCroix or um what's the other one bubbly their stuff has gone up in price, probably closer to $4. So yeah, I'm sure you're saving some money. If you are not as picky and you get like the store brand sparkling water, maybe you might be kind of in the same zone. I feel like the store brand one's like $2.99 sometimes. It's bubbly. The flavor is good though. Holy moly, that's super bubbly. Um... With really good flavor. I think if I let it sit there just a little bit, maybe some of the bubbles, some of the bubbles will calm down. I also picked up, these are so good. I'm not a huge Cheeto person, but so I go to a girls group and we always have snack and um, someone had brought these in for snack one of the times and they were so good. Like they're better than the Cheeto puffs. Like they're like almost like a softer texture. Um, and they were really good and I had picked up a different one. They were like the pinwheels and I opened them and I tried them They were not that they were not nearly as good and they were greasy and these ones feel like less greasy But I just started to diet again. So, um, they're oven baked though And so I will scan them and see like so I'm doing Weight Watchers again So I'm trying to post again on Amber's losing it WW. It's my third channel. I have three Um, so if you're interested in that at all, it's it's linked down below in my description box, but I'm going to scan them, see how many points they are since they're baked. Maybe they're achievable, but they're good until January 30th and they're really good. And then if I don't end up eating them, my son, like he saw them and he's like, oh, those look good. So if I don't eat them, my son will. I finally found the quick oats. Um, and after I found these, another store had the other ones. What are the other ones? They're not quick oats. They're like old fashioned oats, I think. But I like quick oats, I think is what I prefer. And so I decided to try them out. So they're no preservatives, non-GMO, 100% vegan. They don't expire until August of 2025. Like that's a long time. Um, ingredients are just whole grain rolled oats and they're a product of the USA. They're made by Sunco and Frenchie LLC in New Jersey. And so I'm gonna try them out. I do like overnight oats. I haven't made them in a long minute. But these I think will be good for overnight oats or like it's been kind of cold in the mornings now here. I live in Colorado and the fall has started falling like it's like finally kind of here. And so there's a fly. At least I hope it's a fly because it's a loud buzzing fly. There it is. Yes, it's one of those big like really loud flies. Anyway, so yeah, I got um, some oats. 
And then just a couple more fun food items. I did finally pick this up. I've seen other people hauling it and then it's just finally like called my name a whole lot. It is pumpkin spice popcorn by Sweet Chaos. Um, again, I bought this and then I was like, it kind of sat there for a second and I started a diet. So we're gonna scan it, see how bad it is for me, but um, it's good until February and it's the pumpkin spice popcorn. And I also, you know, with trying to watch what I eat, like sometimes you just need a little treat and you just make it work. And then I found this too, it is the Snickers Shakers. Um, it says it's great for ice cream, cookies, milkshakes, and more. So I have a Ninja Creamy and my thought was is if I can try to make like a Snickers flavored ice cream, so use like I, I try to make them like low fat ice creams because that's why I got my Ninja Creamy. A lot of times I've been using like my um, protein shakes as the base. So do like a chocolate protein shake and then maybe a little bit of peanut butter powder. And I have some caramel sugar-free syrup. Maybe a touch of that in there. What else is in a Snickers? I guess the nougat, but you can't really, is that nougat in there? Um, and then you can sprinkle this on top. I don't know, just a thought of maybe what, what I was thinking about when I bought it. Um, so got this, it doesn't expire until January of 2024. I mean, that's a lot of powder to get through. It says there's 48 servings in here. A serving size is one teaspoon and it's got 15 calories. Oh, it smells like a candy bar. It smells good, it smells like a powdered candy bar is the number one thing. Sugar, yep, sugar, brown sugar, cocoa, peanuts, and then a bunch of other stuff. Um, it does give you a recipe though, Snickers milkshake recipe. So it's vanilla ice cream, milk, and three tablespoons of this. So yeah, pick that up for the kitchen. All right, Halloween stuff now is what I have left. So thank you for being here. I guess first fall, I lied. I have two things from fall. We are going to um, family out of state. We're going to Utah for Thanksgiving. And I thought I would pack these up and take them with us because I think they're so much fun. It's color your own table co cover. And so on here, there is like a word search, there's a maze, there's words that just say happy Thanksgiving, there's tic-tac-toe, spot the difference, fill in the blanks to create the words. Um, something about pumpkins, I can't tell what you're supposed to do with that one from here. And then a like color by number maybe? Looks like a color by number type thing. So I just thought that that would be fun to have on the table. I'll pick up a couple things of crowns or markers and do that. Um, the material of it is a, like a shiny paper. I was wondering, cause it looks kind of still plasticky, but it's in plastic. So it is still a paper. So yeah, I thought that that would be really fun. So picked those up to take with us. Now for Halloween, in the plus section, I grabbed this. It is a Piva, is that how you say that? Piva tablecloth. Um, and it is, they had a couple ones. They did have the round one and I believe they had the 52 inch by 52 inch. This one was 52 by 90. That was the biggest one that I could find. And I got it because my husband's trunk, we want to do a tablecloth on a table because he's going to have all his stuff set up on there. And I thought maybe this one would be really neat on there. And then after that thought, so my best friend's daughter tomorrow is having a Wednesday themed birthday party. And this is just Wednesday. So it's the black and white stripes with spider webs and spiders. Look how cool that is. So um, she's doing like an offset of spiders and spider webs because it goes well with the Wednesday theme. And then um, the stripes also go well with the Wednesday theme. So um, I did tell her about this tablecloth and maybe she can use it. So, so yeah, super cool. So got that. I'm just trying to get a little folded again. Um, my son picked these up. I don't know. I did tell him, I'm like, oh, we're kind of looking for some decorations to put on the table. That's for the trunk or treat because my husband's going to have a table. It's going to have a tripod, a printer, and him and the bowls of candy, the bowl of candy on it. And he's like, well, look, we could just put these on there. They're like sparkly bones. So if you're looking for a two piece of a decorative sparkly bone, here you go. They have them. 
He also picked this up thinking it could go on the table. It's the stack of skulls. And this one is the motion censored one. And I tried it with the ghosts and they don't work until you put in your own battery, which I'm not sad about because on the ghost one, I'm not putting in a battery because I don't want to. But I mean, if this one is, is sitting there where like they walk into our little tent, it'd be funny if it started making sounds. So maybe we'll do a battery on this one and try it out. So my son picked that one up thinking that it would be good for the table. Then I picked up another one of these. So I did pick up one that was black and white. So the black and white checkered was black and white and the straw was black and white and this was clear and I put ghosts on it. Oh my gosh, it came out so cute. Um, it's going to be in one of my videos over on Celebrating with Amber if you wanna see me putting it together and how it came out. But um, I thought because I liked that one so much that I can turn this one into a jack-o'-lantern. So like my pillow right here do just you know two eyes a little nose and a jack-o'-lantern mouth and i thought it would be really cute for halloween so it was an impulse buy i was just on that aisle looking and i'm like oh my gosh i want to make that so i'm going to uh, my kitchen i still haven't fully decorated i have a cheater tree right now like it's not fully decorated but right here has a few things for you guys i'm gonna fully decorate it though but um my table usually has like more pumpkins and stuff like that on it. My coffee bar is going to be black and white and ghosts. And then I think like, depending on how the rest of it goes, if I put anything else in there, it'll be kind of a mixture. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a little DIY on that. I think it's going to be really cute. I picked these up for the little Halloween party I'm doing. I'm, have I said it during this haul? I'm doing a Halloween party on the 26th. It's for my daughter's girls group so we're doing two Halloween parties all in one day so first we're going to do like an hour and a half during like the time that we usually meet with her girls group and do um, a Halloween party with them and then um, that they'll leave and then for the 7 30 to 8 30 is when she meets with her Girl Scouts and then we're having the Girl Scouts come over and doing a Halloween party with them and I just thought these little cups were so cute you get six of them in there it's got a werewolf a witch, a skeleton, Dracula, and Frankenstein all around on there. How cute is that? So I initially was going to just do a bowl of candy, but then I was like, well, if I want to do like I do my candy bars for birthday parties, I can do that too and do these. Or they can be like, if we're going to do some foods and snacks and stuff, and if someone wants to use these instead of a plate to put their snacks in is also my other idea. So I'm gonna put them out somewhere. And the reason I grabbed those is because I had already picked up the tablecloth that is the matching tablecloth. So I just thought it was so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use it though because I have like my regular one which is pumpkins, like that, like my Piva, um, like not like a reusable one. And it has pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns on it but I just thought this guy was so cute. So if I have to set up another table, which I do because I'm playing a game with them, and I'll probably set up a little table with the game stuff. And I'll probably use this for that. So cute. Look at Dracula. I didn't realize Dracula walked like that. And then this one has the stack of pumpkins with it too. Is there any other differences? I think just the stack of pumpkins is the only difference. So super cute little set that they have for Halloween. And then speaking of um, the trunk or treat, my husband for sure needed a candy bowl. So first I picked up the black cat. And then, because um, they didn't have, like, this was kind of like the best. I actually didn't really have any candy bowls other than the black cat at the first store I went to. So I picked this up. I thought it was really cute to be able to put your candy in. If he doesn't, he said it was cute when I brought it home because I got him a different one too. Um, so he might use this for his candy bowl. But um, one or the other we'll probably just use here at home and put a bunch of candy in. And I'm going to need one too for my trunk. So um, we can also, I can use one, he can use one. And then the other one I got was this one. It says Happy Halloween. It's got the jack lantern, skeletons, more jack lanterns, and spider webs and stuff. Stars. So super cute. I mean, they're flimsy, so you're not like, don't expect anything great. They're $1.25, I guess, so they're pretty flimsy. But once you kind of get it full of candy, I worry like, so I hold my candy a lot when I'm handing it out for, um, like when I'm doing it, but like if I, I'm gonna have a table there too. I also picked up this tablecloth. 
um, really it was, I didn't know what tablecloth I was going to want to put on his table. And so I was just picking up a bunch of them because why the heck not? And this one's really cute too with the skulls and skeletons. To be honest, I have totes of Halloween stuff. They go under the house uh, in between. And so whatever we don't use, I'm just going to put in the totes because we can probably use them again next year because you know, why the heck not? And I also just picked up a plain black one. Really, my thought was because we want to cover like the front of the table too. And um, instead of doing like the table skirts that cost a lot of money, taping this so it drapes all the way to the floor and then you put another tablecloth over it and then you just have two layers, but it like blocks the whole bottom of your table. So that's why I got that one. I also picked up some backgrounds and ceiling decorations. So again, he's doing a photo booth um, and we're trying to hang stuff up. So like put a backdrop behind him, just decorate up the tent and backdrops are an easy way because he has walls for his trunk because it's going to be a tent. And so first I grabbed this one. It just says wall decoration and it says happy Halloween. It's got like kind of the blood dripping and the spider webs and just all kinds of randomness. So we maybe might put that one behind him um, on that wall of the trunk. And then similar to that, or what would really go well with that is this, it's a wall border and it is 12 inches by 25 feet. And so you have lots of it and it is like dripping blood. And if you're like me, you're a little curious about what does it look like. So this is what it looks like, like when you look at it in the package, but you can't really see how good it looks. So let's try it out. Okay, so it's kind of thin, which I guess isn't bad because you want it to look like dripping blood. So it's clear with the red drip. So um, I told him like if we wanted to, we could put that along, you know, the top of the tent for him. And it would, I don't know, if we wanted to. And then lastly, I picked up two of these. I'm gonna talk to him about it because if he doesn't want them, then I'll give them to my best friend because for the birthday party, they're kind of spidery too. But this is a four foot by two foot and it's for the ceiling because the spiders will drop down like that. But I also was thinking like if you wanted to use it as a backdrop, why couldn't you still hang it on the wall and just make sure the spiders are like dangling down that way? Um, so I thought about it as kind of a backdrop. This one doesn't have the same easy open and I don't have any scissors right here. So that was kind of my thought was like we can use it as a backdrop. I don't know if I was thinking about like the size, like I don't know why I picked up two. Cause it's four foot by two foot. So four foot long, like, I mean, for where our pictures will be, it'll be fine if we wanted to use this as our backdrop for the pictures. We've been going back and forth. I bought a light spider, like a spider web lights um, from the plus section and we pulled them out and they, we can't really get them to like stick to the tent walls very well. So we've nixed that idea. And so, um, I'm still like, was, when I went out shopping, I was like, okay, what would work well for a backdrop was like my thought process. So this looks like this. Oh, you could totally do it as a backdrop and you just flip your spiders around. And they're only single sided, which is also silly if you're hanging them from the ceiling. Oh yeah, this would totally work as a good backdrop. So it's not very long this way. So it's only like this because it's two feet, which I guess if I have two, then it would be four feet by eight feet. No, it'd still be four feet by four feet. Maybe that's why I got two. Sometimes my brain works, I think. All right. So, but that's really cool. I mean, it'd be cool hanging too. The one thing I would say, if you dangle it on the ceiling, the bummer is the spider, they're one, just thin paper. And two, like it's only one sided spider. Like you should double side your spider if he's going to be dangling down from the ceiling. Because if you're on the other side of the spider, you don't see the spider, you just see like a white spider shaped thing. So come on Dollar Tree, you know, put out the big bucks and give us a double sided spider. All right. Oh, and they folded one of my spiders. So we'll see, we'll see if that ends up anywhere. We're getting to the end, just a few more things, but they're all kind of the same but different. Um, I used my ghosty bag today from TJ Maxx. I'm sad that the month is running out and I'm gonna run out of time to use my ghosty bag because I love that. 
part of our idea for the backdrop was going to be these, but in the black or gray, I couldn't find any more. I only found the beige. And so I did pick up two just in case, but the walls are already white in the tent. And so I don't know if this has a good offset or not, but you could drape them wherever too. So I picked up two more of these because I wanted the black or the gray ones. And this is what I found. Um, so got those. Maybe I just fell off the table. And then the, where the printer is on his table, um, like you could just see the back of it, like when you're standing, like where you're gonna get your picture taken. So I figured we could pick up just like one of these little pictures and like lean it in front of it to kind of hide the printer a little bit. And I picked up three because they were my three favorites. Also, like we can hang them. We can like just find places to hang them in the tent too if we wanted to, or I can use them for my decor. I dig this one. There was a pumpkin one too, but I only picked up the skull. So it looks like it's like an old news article but it's got the picture of the skull and the spider. And then this is a flower that's like a pop-up as is the frame that they put on it. Putting the frames on their things, like, oh my gosh, it elevates it so much. Like this is such a pretty, pretty piece and I love it a lot. So I did grab that um, partially because I really like it, but also because I had the spider. So I thought I would like kind of go with our theme, but then I also picked up a couple more because I didn't know for sure. Like this one I thought was fun. It says rest your bones, tombstone, cobwebs, haunted house, beware, dead end, and keep out. The beware, no, the cobwebs, beware, and keep out are glittery. So they have a little bit of a sparkle. And the spider does a little teeny bit of a pop out. Not like a ton, but he is definitely a little bit of a pop out. So I thought that one was cute too. It's like it would also fit for to hang and hide or we can just kind of hang it up somewhere if like we need to add a little bit of decor anywhere on the tent. And we are setting up um, the whole tent for our Halloween party um, on the 26th and our trunk or treat is on the 28th. So what's really nice about that is we can like put it all up, see what it looks like before the actual trunk or treat and have a good idea what it's gonna be like. And then the last one I picked up was this one. It says, welcome to our tomb. I thought this was cute because you're walking into like a tent tomb tent you know so I thought that one was cute the RAP sticks out it's a little piece that they put on top and this is mostly sparkle so I picked up that one all right guys that is my entire Dollar Tree haul probably the last Halloween one definitely probably the last like all Halloween like almost all, like a ton of Halloween stuff I still might pick up a couple things here and there I actually sorted through bags too I have more stuff to share with you which I will be back on Tuesday to share but um if I forgot any Halloween stuff, it'll be in that. And so I, I'm not promising no more Halloween, but um, yeah, so that's probably my last big one. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Like I said, I will be back on Tuesday. I will be in a new costume because I am dressing up for all of my um, hauls. Like I said, because I am a party pooper unicorn today. I have several ideas of things I want to dress up as. So I'm super excited to do that. Like they're nothing major, obviously, like this is a major dressing up. Some of them are got a little bit more intricate though. So yeah, come back and see me. Come see my costumes for the month. Um, I appreciate you all so much. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button because then that way you will be able to join my YouTube family. Don't forget the bell button because then you're notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Do that for all of your favorite YouTubers because it helps us all out significantly. It tells YouTube that you're liking our content and then in turn YouTube is like, oh, people like their content and they help push us out to help us grow um, and get a bigger family here on YouTube. So anybody who you love or even kind of like or tolerate, you should always hit that like button and leave a little mini comment. Even if it's a smiley face, it helps out tremendously. Um, I can't wait until I see you guys next time. Bye guys.